who is ready for a new theme package. Meet Kojiro, our new theme package for WordPress and Joomla. It's perfect for a restaurant, cafe, or any other business-related websites. Kojiro features a lot of fancy parallax effects, and it's a great example for all the dynamic content features from Utheme Pro 4. And guess what? It even uses new features, which is why it comes bundled with Utheme Pro 4.1. Of course, Kojiro also comes with nine content-rich page layouts, great-looking styles, and many beautiful images. Intrigued? Let's take a look. Kojiro comes with nine different layouts for all kinds of page types. They can be easily loaded from the layout library with just a click. Here's a walkthrough of all the new features, parallax effects, and other highlights. The home page starts with a hero section, which stretches for multiple viewports. In the background, we have a video, and on top, the restaurant title and logo, which blur out when scrolling, revealing information about the restaurant. Here, we use the new parallax blur introduced with Youthin Pro 4. Next, we have a really special menu section, where menus fly in from the right and fly out to the left. There is also an about section and a full screen image which zooms out while scrolling, revealing a nicely arranged image gallery. The page ends with a footer section. For Kojiro, we created a dialog menu layout with a full height image on the left and menu and socials on the right. Our Kojiro restaurant has three menus for lunch, dinner and drinks. So we chose a similar layout for all three of them, but with a special touch for each. The lunch page starts with a background video, followed by the menu section. The lunch dishes are shown in a three-column layout, and on the left there is a sticky navigation to jump to different dish categories. A small section with allergens is displayed at the bottom. The dinner page has a similar layout, with a sticky navigation. But here, since the dinner menu is usually longer, we went for a more text-focused layout, but with image impressions from the dinner menu on the right. The different column heights are nicely justified at the bottom with a smooth parallax animation. The drinks menu is even longer, so drinks are shown in two columns side by side and impression images are displayed with the parallax animation on the right. There is also an About page, which starts with the full With Hero section, followed by information about the chef. Next, we have a timeline with chef's career and restaurant history. To separate different time sections, the years nicely slide in from the left when scrolling, while images blur out when leaving the viewport. Kojiro has a news page with a very unusual split layout. On the right, we have a sticky column with subcategories a prominent headline and pagination, and on the left we have a two-column image layout with blog articles, which animate when scrolling until they justify at the bottom. The post page is also split, but here we have a sticky column on the left with the post image which covers the whole viewport, and on the right we have the post headline, content and meta information. Since Kojiro is all about food, we also added some custom fields for additional images. In the same column on the right, we built the previous and next pagination with article intro images. Of course, there's also a contact page. Just like in the post template, we have a sticky image on the left, and on the right, there is a contact information with a map and a gift card section. If you followed our Youth Pro 4 blog post, you know we've decided to switch our release strategy and include smaller Youth Pro releases into theme releases. So today we want to introduce Youth Pro 4.1 with all the features needed for our new Kojiro theme. Let's check them out. 
As you know, when you click on a link with a URL fragment, the page scrolls to the point where the ID is located in the markup. This is the case, for example, on the lunch page, where the sidebar navigation links to dish categories. Before, if you have a sticky navbar, the navbar would cover the headlines. Now we added the height of the sticky navbar as scroll offset. It even works when the scroll target moves away with a parallax animation. The row has a new parallax justify option, so columns with different heights reach the bottom at the same time. This is the case on the dinner page, where the menu aligns with the image impressions. What's great about it is that you no longer need to bother with matching the content height in the columns. It will look nice no matter how many images you add. And to give you more control over the duration of animation, we also added start and end options, just like you know from the general parallax settings. Just like for the rows, we added the parallax justify option to the grid and gallery elements. So if grid columns have different heights, which is the case for masonry grids, or here on the block page where columns have an uneven number of items, they will reach the bottom at the same time. Of course, we also added start and end options for the parallax animation. And the grid and gallery elements have a new masonry pack option, which will sort items into columns with the most room. To show the items in their natural order as before, use the next option. As you know, columns collapse if the elements within load dynamic content, but the content is empty. The other columns expand to fill the remaining space. In some cases, you would not want that. There is now an option to prevent columns with low dynamic content from collapsing. For example, on the post page, we use dynamic content to create the previous and next pagination. Here, if there is no previous article, which is the case for the latest article, we want to still keep the width of the column and not expand the remaining column. We have some minor updates for the header as well. First, we remove the option to disable the transparent header on mobile. This means if a hero section has a transparent header, it will look the same on any device. Second, we have a visual improvement for transparent navbars which have drop bars. Before, when you open the drop bar, which takes the full width of the page, the navbar stayed transparent, which didn't look that good. This is actually the reason why we didn't use drop bars in theme packages with transparent navbars. Now we automatically remove the transparent background when the drop bar opens. This is so much better. We have a new option for the image element to force the height to one viewport. The image source will cover the content box of the image element, just like you know from background images. This is very handy if you want to have a two-column layout with a sticky image, like we used here for the post template. The pagination element now also has general max width and block alignment options, so you can better align it with other content in the layout, like here in the post template. You can now map the alias field in Joomla or the corresponding Slack field in WordPress dynamically. This is useful if you want to create an SEO-friendly page navigation with URL fragments. The perfect example is the lunch page. Here we map the alias field of the category to the link field in the side navigation and added hash in the before option. Finally, we map the alias field in the corresponding headline element to the ID field. Now, if you click the side navigation, the page will jump to the corresponding dishes category. And look what a small and dynamic this layout is. If you add another category, say for pasta, the category will automatically show up in the side navigation, linking to the pasta section in the main content together with all the dishes. No need to change anything in the layout. Last but not least, we added an option to the advanced settings in Joomla to disable loading font awesome if you don't need it in your pages. That's it for Uthim Pro 4.1. Now let's have a closer look at Kojiro styles. Kojiro is quite a fancy restaurant, so we went for a classy flat style with elegant reserved colors. The heavy use of the primary color throughout all UI components makes the style very colorful 
especially since it's perfectly complemented by the secondary color. While most UI elements are plain with crisp edges, buttons are rounded and have a light border on hover just like the icon button and dot knob. Cards also show a border on hover, but it's darker. A special divider icon adds a little playfulness to the style. Finally, modern refined typography with a sensory font as well as thin bottom border and forms will give your website an elegant and sophisticated look. In addition to the default style, Kojiro comes with five other style variations, each with a different beautiful color scheme. There are five white and one dark styles, all with classy reserved colors. The white-yellow style variation additionally has a page foreground with a grainy texture that covers all UI elements. As always, you can switch the whole look and feel of your website with just a click. Simply choose what fits your website best. Kojiro also comes with three different box decorations with paint strokes in primary color on top or behind the image or video. There is also a mask with a torn border. Kojiro comes with a fully functional demo website with one dish content type in addition to the default post. Dishes are grouped into three different categories – lunch, dinner and drinks. The categories themselves have two custom fields for the title image and image impressions. The dish content type has one custom field to show the dish price and another custom field in WordPress for the intro image. The default post has one custom field for additional images and another custom field in WordPress for the intro image. And finally, the user has one custom field for the avatar. Kojiro comes with more than 130 lovingly curated and free to use images. They can be found in the Kojiro collection in the Unsplash library. So these are the features of our new Kojiro theme package for Joomla and WordPress. Now go ahead and explore it yourself. As always, we're looking forward to your feedback, so let us know what you think in the comments below.